Windy day in paradise. How windy it is. Sand is blowing everywhere. And I just hopped out of the shower. I have spent seven, seven glorious days at this RV resort that I call Paradise. And it is time for me to leave. I enjoyed my time here. I mean, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. It's time to move on. I'm going to miss this uh, 80 degree weather. December, I spent four weeks, December, and then uh, I left, came back, and then spent the last three weeks here. And almost every day, it was between 75 and 80. It got hot, it got very hot, but I won't complain. But it's drive day. I'm headed to some colder weather, which I'm looking forward to. So let me zip it up, get on the road. Actually, I get some of this expensive California gas, my God. <sighs> and get on the road. Let me stop rambling. <laughs> Guys, look at this. When I was here the last time, I was parked right over there. And that is the restroom and uh, the laundromat, which I used every day. Well, I used the showers every day, which is really nice. Nice, nice. Yep. Gosh, look at those palm trees. Paradise, paradise. I insert a few photos from, from the uh, nighttime sunset. Yeah. All right, let me get on the road. Let me and get on the road. <laughs> a lovely Oh, and these are cabins here. That, um, those are cabins that you can rent. Guys, can you see that bunny rabbit? I've been feeding them lettuce every evening. We've been eating salads together. <laughs> and they have a playground here, but of course it's closed because of COVID. The pool is open. The pool is straight ahead where you see that brown building with the green top. I didn't go to the pool, but um, it's open. And it's right off the highway, but I didn't hear the noise at all. It's inside of my van. I'm gonna get off of here so that I can focus on my drive. And I will see you guys. Later. I'm a rolling stone bound to roam. Come the morning, or I'll be gone. Pouring rain, on to hear that train. There she comes, won't you get home?
to blow on Take a sip on my back, my grip One more trip and I'ma move there to the top uh, so I pull it off um, for about 30 minutes and let the van cool down because I've been driving I want to say maybe about three hours so yeah I let it cool down and the cars are just gonna have to go around me because I am not going fast up this hill Guys, I've been on the road driving for about three days now. I have maybe about a week to go. Um, yeah, <laughs> and I don't know if I'm coming or going. Oh man, so I am trying to, I'm trying to get out of the state of California and I'm breaking it up into three to five hours a day because the state is so big and the traffic is horrible. Guys, look at my windshield. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a long crack in the windshield. And it started, nope, you can't, the camera's not picking it up. But there's a small, where are we at? A small crack right here from a guy that pulled out in front of me only to turn down the very next block. And when he did, um, he skid on some rocks. It cracked my windshield, which really sucks. So now I'm going to have to get my windshield replaced. <sighs> There's nothing fancy about this campground. The cabins here, I'm not sure how much the cabins um, cost. But I think the nightly rate for this uh, campground is $78, $63, I've looked at so many, I've had so many reservations the last... A uh, few nights that I, they all run in together. My membership, I can book this campground for only $15 a night, and I will talk to you guys about the camping membership. Good morning, guys. I am headed out this morning. I'm leaving the campground that I've been staying at for three days now. I stayed here so I can visit Pinnacles National Park. So I am just breaking everything down so that I can hit the roads. Need to check my oil because I know I'm due for oil change. I've already taken my electrical cord and water hose down. I have them sitting up there because I wash them. I am a bit of a germaphobe. So I like to wash them with bleach water. So before I put them in, um, before I put them in the van. So I am going to check my oil this morning. That's my um, antifreeze, so I topped that off yesterday, but I need to check the oil this morning. Okay, so I do have oil, but it is a dirty, and that's because I need to get it, I need to get it changed. So, I will work on getting that done, and that's it. Um, I got plenty of windshield wiper fluid, which I'm getting ready to wash my windows. And then, like I said, I topped this off yesterday because it was kind of low. And the coolant helps to keep your engine cool, especially when you're going up the mountains and hilly um, parts of the state, which in California is very hilly. So, in my bottle, I just have... Um, water get all the dust off of it yeah i'm still cleaning thank you <laughs> yeah. 
So that's it. It just needed some water. Yesterday, I cleaned um, with my window cleaner. It just had a little bit of dust on it. Okay. So then I like to do a walk around the van um, just to make sure that one, the awning's closed, and then I need to take down my lights, which I seem to forget to take those down. So I need to take down my lights here. So I have one here. I have them on magnets, and they're heavy duty. Um, I've actually driven with these lights on the van, and they haven't fallen off. I did secure them with Gorilla Glue. The magnets are great, but the adhesive, um, it doesn't work that well, so I just put Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue works for everything. Guys, I love these rolling hills. They are so beautiful. I love them. Okay. And then I have another one back here. I parked back here because I wanted to be close to the bathhouse and this particular one is no longer in service but it's really quiet back here in the back of the park which I've enjoyed and I also like not having um, anyone behind me which most times at campgrounds you have someone behind you so I've enjoyed it pretty quiet just infested with squirrels there's another light I forgot to take down because I'm talking to you guys Okay, so I got that light down. I was talking to you guys and not paying attention to what I was doing. And then I have one more light up here to take down. So I want to get tire pressure monitors because I do think about my tires a lot now that I don't have um, a discount tire out here. Okay, and then I turn off my propane. And it's time to hit the road. So I still need to take down this light. Yep. Okay, so it is time to hit the road. <laughs> I have about a three hour drive ahead of me. So it should take me about four hours to get there. Can you guys see all of those squirrels? Let me zoom in. One, two, three, four. Oh, they just infested. Oh, they're everywhere. A man got to go to get a woman like you. What's a man got to do to touch a woman like you? What's a man got to do? If I have to bear, or if I have to plead, or if I have to fight, or if I have to bleed, or if I tell a lie, or if I speak the truth. It makes me not even want to drive around California with the gas prices been so high. 
Man. One more national park and then I am leaving this state. I am headed to the San Francisco, I'm headed to the Golden Gate Bridge. I don't know why I want to call it the San Francisco Bridge, but I am loving these rolling hills.